Good morning, students. So we have finished so many topics in chemical reaction. What what things we have studied? You know now that a reaction in which the reactants or products are in the same physical state is called homogeneous reaction. We have discussed about heterogeneous reaction. We have discussed about reversible and irreversible reaction. then we have discussed on the basis of heat reaction are of two types and those are exothermic endothermic a particular reaction where heat is evolved is called exothermic reaction we have seen different examples also then we have discussed about combination reactions the types of reaction no combination then we have discussed decomposition reaction and we know that decomposition reaction is of three types and what are these photo decomposition reaction electrolytic decomposition reaction and thermal decomposition reaction then we have discussed about displacement reaction we have discussed about double displacement reaction then we have discussed about precipitation reaction and neutralization reaction and in previous class we have discussed about what we have discussed about oxidation and reduction reaction and one more thing we have discussed and those are oxidizing agent and reducing agent we have de we de defined oxidation and reduction on the basis of oxygen and hydrogen that if any substance i mean addition of oxygen and removal of hydrogen to any substance leads to oxidation reduction just opposite to that means addition of hydrogen and removal of oxygen on the basis of loss or gain of electrons oxidation means what loss of electrons and reduction means gain of electrons so today we are going to discuss about decomposition reactions to form oxides so metal carbonates metal carbonates means you know like metallic carbonates when where metal is present carbonate means what co3 2 minus is a carbonate ion and metal is what calcium magnesium sodium aluminum these are metals where 1 2 3 electrons in the outer motion <coughs> so this metal carbonates nitrates and sulfates nitrates means you know no3 minus sulfates means you know so4 2 minus so these are the ions on heating what it gives it gives oxides and dioxide gas only these three carbonates nitrates and sulfates of metals it gives when you heat when you heat these compounds you will get oxides and dioxide gas these oxides may be acidic basic amphoteric or neutral so you see here the first example in your book that is metal carbonates taking example of calcium carbonate you know the formula cacao3 why cacao3 ca ca2 plus and co3 2 minus 2 2 cancel and the formula will be cacao3 <coughs> so if you heat if you supply heat to this calcium carbonate calcium oxide is formed and carbon dioxide is formed you see oxides and dioxide gases formed and this calcium oxide is basic in nature now how you are going to say that these are basic in nature by doing one experiment <coughs> you have to dissolve this calcium oxide to water what what will be formed calcium hydroxide now the aqueous solution of calcium hydroxide is formed 
you have to dip litmus paper you know red litmus paper if red litmus paper turns to blue the aqueous solution is basic in nature so here calcium hydroxide is formed by adding calcium oxide to water this calcium hydroxide turns red litmus to blue hence we proved that this calcium oxide is basic in nature the second one you see metal nitrates so all metal nitrates except exceptions are there silver mercury and alkali metals alkali means all the group one that is sodium the hydrogen not hydrogen sorry lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium these are alkali metals on heating decompose to give their oxides nitrogen ox dioxide and oxygen so you see here zinc nitrate is there one oxide will be formed nitrogen dioxide is formed and oxygen gas is liberated so if you heat zinc nitrate what happen it decomposes to give zinc oxide that is zno plus nitrogen dioxide that is no2 and oxygen gas so this is all about zinc nitrate or metal nitrates how sulfates behave how if you take sulfates metal sulfates and if you supply heat to it what it forms it will give oxide respective oxide means the compound you are taking like for example you are taking ferrous sulfate it will give respective oxide means it will give only ferric oxide and oxides of sulfur so if you heat feso4 it will give ferric oxide sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide if you heat ferrous ferric sulfate ferric sulfate you know fe3 plus <coughs> so fe2so4 whole thrice if you heat it it will form ferric oxide and only sulfur trioxide gases released here you should note that sulfur dioxide gases not liberated the third example aluminum sulfate if you heat it it will give aluminum oxide and only sulfur trioxide is formed no sulfur not sulfur dioxide now this activity you see to show that heating limestone strongly over the flame leads to the formation of cao you see if if you'll take limestone that is calcium carbonate if you heat it strongly what we you will get you will get calcium oxide that we call quick lime and carbon dioxide gas activity 4 sorry 3 lead carbonate that is pbco3 if you heat it you will get lead oxide and carbon dioxide gas activity 4 just now i explained about how to test the acidic how to test the basic nature of metal oxide like that only you have to test the basic that how the oxides are is the oxides are acidic or basic or neutral or amphoteric by doing this type of experiment so take a small sample of each metal oxide that is given here calcium oxide lead oxide and aluminum oxide <coughs> in separate test tubes add a small amount of distilled water in each test tube now shake all the samples for a few minutes the solutions is ready aqueous solution of the various compounds is ready various oxides are ready then you have to test the solution with litmus paper so you have to test this solution by both red and blue litmus paper when blue litmus turns to red that means the particular oxide is acidic and when red litmus turns to blue the particular oxide is basic so the first one you and where no color change that means it is amphoteric or it is neutral so you see calcium oxide when it turns red litmus it is turning red litmus to blue that means it is basic lead oxide red litmus to no change that means 
amphoteric and what about aluminium oxide so aluminium oxide turns red litmus to blue it means what basic in nature no but this is exception you should know that aluminium oxide is amphoteric in nature amphoteric means what it reacts with both base and acid so we can include that cao is basic pbo is amphoteric and aluminium oxide is also amphoteric now how are you going to classify oxides the oxides are classified as acidic basic amphoteric and neutral acidic oxides means what it turns blue litmus red basic oxide means what it turns blue litmus sorry it turns red litmus to blue amphoteric amphoteric is both acidic as well as basic means it will turn red litmus to blue or blue litmus to red also and what about neutral it has no change it has no effect so this is all about the classification of oxides now let's read the following points metal oxides are basic non metal oxides are acidic metal oxides and hydroxide which show both acidic as well as basic character that is which react with both acids and bases are amphoteric oxides or hydroxides oxides and hydroxides of zinc lead and aluminum are amphoteric in nature you should remember this one because we know that metallic oxides are basic in nature but oxides of zinc lead and aluminum are amphoteric that means it reacts with both acids and bases then carbon monoxide nitric oxide and nitrous oxide are neutral oxides because these oxides do not react with both acids and the alkalis so this is all about we have finished the chapter read well and if you have any problem comment in the comment box thank you